Hello, in this video I will show the basics of 5-axis milling in SportCam. So right now you can see simple 5-axis machine. This machine has the rotary table and B-axis that rotates the spindle. Uh, this is the modern machine. So if you have the modern machine that support tool central point management mode, be sure that you have this TIG enabled. Uh, one moment. Uh, control parameters, rotary transformation, TCPM mode is available. This TIG must be enabled if it is available on your machine. So, how to use indexed 5 axis milling. For example, I would like to I have this workpiece and I would like to machine this face. I select this face and create roughing auto line. Automatically uh, Sprutcam calculates the position for B and C axis that will be used while indexed machining. If I click run, toolpass will be ready. Go to simulation and I start the simulation. That's good. Well, uh, let's uh, have a look on toolpass. I select this post processor, FANUC 30. It is included in the standard package of Sprutcam. And for the first operation, we can see first tool, origin, and this line is very interesting, G68.2. This command rotates the local coordin coordinate system. We, we can find it in CL data. If I go to simulation, open header, open approach, we can see this one. Start, B and C rotates, after that X, Y, after that Z, and enable the origin. Origin will rotate this axis. Look at this point, and if I place this block, it is rotated now. Well, next step, and after that is machining. Well, it's indexed machining. So, to get this command that will be transformed by post processor to G68, you have to enable this parameter local coordinate system. If I disable it off and recalculate the toolpath, we have the same toolpath, but it I will look on CL data. There is no origin command here, and uh, machining will be performed in this coordinate system. So there is no circles movement and so on. Well, next step. So if your machine supported, you have to enable set to local coordinate system to auto. Well, next step. For example, I would like to make continuous 5-axis milling. Uh, for example, this chamfer. I create finishing 5-axis contouring and define the cylindrical mill this and strategy set to flunk. Okay. And after that add the job assignment to my operation. Remove this for this job assignment. Uh, define the okay that's good. Well
calculate the two paths. Uh, if we will look at our tool pass, mm, something wrong, recalculate everything, start mm, too fast, repeat this one, this one, and this one. Okay. After that, go away and go to to change point. Well, what it what is important in continuous five axis milling? It's necessary to enable tool center point management. It must be enabled and local coordinate system for this mod must be disabled. You have to make it manually. What it gives? I calculate the second operation and let's have a look on CL data. There is this command interpolation 5 axis on and after the machining after the machining it will be disabled. So, interpolation of well, how it looks in the program. I define the same post process. Uh, it's the first operation and the second. Uh, excuse me, second operation. It use this tool central point mentioned. G forty three point four. Well, thank you for your attention. Bye.